What's up guys, the Random Outdoorsmen are back again. Today we're going to be showing you how to make slings. This is a basic paracord sling design that I found after we tried many different sling designs using, let's say, leather, uh, rope, hemp fibers, uh, weaving paracord, and I just found this design to work the best. We've tested this a lot, and today we're going to be giving you a basic tutorial of how to make it, some demonstration using it, and a little bit of information about the history of the sling. We have gained a lot of subscribers since our first video, obviously starting at 0 to 700 would indicate an increase. And so we want to give a little bit about ourselves. My name's Brizen. My name's Steven. I'm a mechanical engineering student. As you can tell, we like building things on this channel. I'm a high school student, still don't know what I'm doing for a career, so... It better be engineering. Probably. But we love building things. If you check out our other videos, we have done anything from forging to just general cutting out, we've made bows, a shot slingshots, anything involving the outdoors, building, or weapons we really like. Yeah. So make sure to check out some other videos if you like this type of content, and leave us a like and a subscribe if you want to see more. It helps out a lot, especially for our small channel. Every subscriber or like actually does a ton. Yes. So a little bit of history on the sling. If you don't know already, rock slings were used basically as far back as history as it can record as a predecessor to bows and arrows and other type of projectile weapons. They were easy for farmers and other civilians to obtain because they're as simple as tying some rope together, maybe a piece of leather, and don't require that much skill to use once you practice them. Obviously the ammo is not some special machined cartridge and powder, it's just some rocks. And apparently they were very effective. Uh, we will be showing you today how much damage they can do. And in any case, they're very fun to use. So let's get going on this video. To make this sling, you're gonna need about six feet of paracord. You're gonna first start by holding the two ends together, finding the middle, and then creating this S shape that's approximately four inches long. You're then going to take the rope, wrap it over, put it through this loop and back through this other loop, and then pull that tight. You're essentially creating a bowline knot in the middle of the string, if anyone already knows what a bowline knot is. You're then going to flip it over here, tie the same knot back through the same loop, creating another bowline knot, and that creates this loop here. We have found that it is best for these loops to be around uh, three and a half inches long, or in American measurements, the length of the average gift card. You see it's about how long this is. You can adjust this just using your fingers or a pair of pliers to pull the rope through and readjust this pouch shape. You're then going to line up these two knots, slide your hand about two feet up the rope. We found that that's about how far we need. Tie an overhand knot. This will be the stopper that goes between your thumb and first finger to release the pouch during the throw. Then find the corresponding spot on the other rope, tie a slip knot, by rotating the rope like this, pulling it through, and knotting it. A key point is that the part that slips is also attached to the pouch, so that the pouch uh, with weight in it, as in the rock, will cause it to tighten on your finger. Grab the rope with your other hand, slide like this until you hit the stopper knot, and line it up until these two knots are lined up. Mine is already lined up. If yours is not, adjust this overhand knot up and down the string until it is. You can then proceed to cut off this rope a little bit up, singe it, uh, burn it, whatever you need to do so the rope doesn't fray, and same thing with this rope. Cut that off somewhere in here and burn it. If you want to see a different tutorial, I will post a link in the description to a picture tutorial of how to tie this knot, but I thought that a video with our input on the links of the different parts would be a good thing. Well, we hope you guys like this video. A quick note about the rock size to use. Don't use small rocks such as this little one I have in my hand that are about the size of a quarter. 
Use ones that are a golf ball size or bigger. They fly straighter, don't curve as much, and will give you a lot less frustration. We hadn't practiced much before doing this video. We've thrown for an extended period of time over various summers. We just haven't gotten too much recently. So this one took a little bit more time, and we're sorry we couldn't give you a ton more really cool shots, but we weren't quite as practiced. If you do practice and you do get good with these, though, you can be insanely accurate. These shots today took a little bit longer than that, though. Yeah. You can see there on your screen how much these rocks dented the pan and the uh, other pan that we threw up. Of course, you saw it destroy the plate and break those clays. So once again, thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Leave your ideas in the comments. Happy trails. Happy trails.